Hey everybody, I'm Scott Weichel. You're listening to My Kind of Country. My first guest tonight is a country music legend. He is a 2019 inductee into the Texas Country Music Hall of Fame. And he's had some fabulous songs like Family Bible, I'll Just Have Another Cup of Coffee, and so many great other songs. And we're going to talk to him about his great career. It's a pleasure to welcome him to the show tonight, the tall Texan, Claude Gray. Claude, how are you tonight? I'm just... Hey, Scott. I'm very honored to be on your show. It's a Thank pleasure. You. It is a pleasure to talk to you again. And uh, we had uh, planned to do this before, but our plans didn't quite work out, and so it's all coming together now. I like that. <laughs> well, they have, they, you know, the plans are, are okay, and uh, I want to say hello to all your audience up around the Michigan there. Hey. And the East Coast, really. Absolutely. We, we got them all over, man. So I'm. Uh, they're going to be tickled to have you on the show tonight, that's for sure, as am I. Well, uh, first of all, congratulations. You are a 2019 inductee into the Texas Country Music Hall of Fame along with Rodney Crowell and Jeannie C. Riley. Yeah, I am. Those are two of my friends, and uh, we were all together a couple of weeks ago uh, down in Carthage, Texas. And uh, it's an honor to have you even uh, compliment us, really. Thank you, Scott. Well, I think that's a tremendous honor and, w- and very well deserved. And I know that you performed down there, and everybody loved it. I saw some pictures on Facebook. Yeah, I think it turned out it was a great success. Had a had a huge crowd, and uh, they were gave us a standing ovation. So uh, it turned out good. Thank you. Well, that's fantastic. And folks, you can get in touch with Claude through his website, which is Claude gray.weebly.com we'll have that information on our facebook page as well and you can uh, read more about claude's career pick up his music and uh, find out where he's going to be and you've been staying pretty busy claude i know you've got a couple of new songs that have been on the independent charts here lately and uh, tell me a little bit about what's going on with you well uh, uh that particular song that's in the country music charts now is uh who sent my ex to texas and I recorded that about 15 years ago, and finally I got it released as a single about three weeks ago. And I think it's uh, about number five or six in the, uh, you know, the uh, independent uh, country music charts across the country. Well, that's fantastic. So uh, I want to thank those folks. That's fantastic. Is that a song that you wrote, Claude? Uh, I did write it. I sure did. Uh-huh. Who sent my ex to Texas? <laughs> kind of the story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think there's a lot of us can relate to that. But actually, I, that was actually true for me for a while. My ex used to live in Texas. She doesn't anymore. But for a while, that was that was very true. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I kind of relate to you on that. <laughs> You've you've had a, another song out uh, recently, a beautiful rendition of uh, "Touch My Heart." Uh, that did pretty good for us. It did. Uh, of course, it was uh, recorded first by Ray Price some years ago, and uh, it's hard to uh, get one equal to uh, to a Ray Price uh, record, but. Uh, we tried, and it turned out pretty good. I think it turned out fabulous. I was absolutely in awe the first time that I heard it. And uh, I want to thank your, your wife, Bridget, too. She uh, got those songs to me, and she's kept us in touch, so I appreciate that. you got a good lady there. Yeah, I do. I sure do. So if, if thank you, you. If you ever need a lady, you call Bridget, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. You, she's pretty independent, I have to tell you. But uh, you know, she, she uh, does well for me. Oh, that's great, um, for, for folks. Folks that didn't get my little joke there. If I ever need a lady, was a was a big hit song for Claude and one of my favorites. We play that a lot on our shows, and we're going to play it tonight too. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Scott. Absolutely. Hey, tell me the story of uh, Family Bible. I was a DJ down in uh, Meridian, Mississippi, and I had uh, uh, gone to Meridian uh, after moving from Houston, where I had been a car salesman and. Uh, playing beer joints for years, and I'd run, you know, made friends with Willie Nelson, so we actually I got that song from Willie, bought it from Willie, <laughs> and it was one of my first first releases on uh, uh, just an independent, little independent label, Pepe Daly's label, uh, and it, it got up in the top, number one in the billboard, and it's been a classic hit for me down through the years, and uh, it really was uh, 
of my career. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that was a, a big, big hit for you in the uh, 1961. And, uh, of course, uh, right after that you had, uh, I'll just have another cup of coffee, too. That was uh, right on the heels of that, I believe. Um, um, you know, that, the, the family Bible led to uh, a Mercury contract. And that's where I recorded. I'll have a cup of coffee, then I'll go. Well, you were uh, you were also in the Navy uh, from 1950 till 1954. Thank you very much for your service. Thank you. I think it was 1955. Oh, 55. Okay. Now, were you? Uh, I think so. Were you involved in the uh, Korean War at all? I was. Uh, I was on an oil tanker. We uh, worked out of Sasebo, Japan, for a long time. Fueling, uh, you know, destroyers and uh, aircraft carriers and uh, battleships off the coast of Korea. Then later on, we were shipped on down to uh, Taiwan and uh, kind of patrolled the uh, the ocean there between Taiwan and and China. And uh, part of the um, I don't know what you would call it, but we were protecting supposedly Taiwan from an invasion or a possible invasion from uh, China. And uh, so I've had pretty widespread experience in the Navy and enjoyed every bit of it. Well, that's fantastic. Well, I I uh, certainly thank you for your service. Um, that's to be commended without a doubt, especially in those, those times, you know. Well, you had um, uh, your first record. We talked a little bit about um, when you first got your record deal. It was on D Records, and that was I'm Not Supposed. That was in 1959. And then, uh -huh. uh, of course, uh, My Ears Should Burn was a big uh, number three for you. Roger Miller wrote that. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, he did. He sure did. That is a great song. I've always always loved that. You have some, some just really great in-the-pocket, good honky-tonk songs. I've always loved that about your sound. Thank you, sir. I never had the one I wanted. A Johnny Paycheck, I believe, I may have written that. Is that correct? I know he had it out. No, uh, I think he might have covered me on it. Chev Woolley and I wrote that song. Oh, you did? Uh, okay. And uh, uh, Chev was a good friend of mine. So we we wrote that particular one. Oh wow! Well, that's fantastic. Hey, I learned something today. I was that's why I love doing these interviews. I get to find out all this information firsthand. So. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, you bet! I'll tell you. Uh, you know, Chef was a very good friend of mine, and uh, we got to be close companions uh, there in the um, middle sixties. You know. Well, he was certainly a tremendous talent. He. Uh, had uh i know the purple people leader and he uh he had some serious songs and he had of course some of the ben he called himself ben colder <laughs> he did yeah and Chev was a movie star too you know he uh, uh was in the giant picture show with uh, uh a lot of big stars along with him on that one and uh other things so Chev Chev was a multi-talented guy that's great. He's a great artist. Absolutely. Very, very much so. We uh, certainly play a lot of his music, too. And then, then of course, Purple People Eater, you got to play that at Halloween time, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, I would think so. Uh. <laughs> well, that's great. Now, you're up, at, you're up in uh, Turkey Creek. Uh, I'm, I'm No, Traverse City, Michigan. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. And uh, how far is that from Minneapolis? Oh, gosh, that's going to be... Uh, Oh, I'd say six, seven hours probably from Minnesota. Yeah, we're uh, we're quite a ways out of Minnesota. Uh huh. Yeah, I used to work uh, the Flame Club. You probably don't remember that, but I used to work the Flame Club in uh, St. Paul. Not not St. Paul, but uh, uh, what would be the city across the river from St. Paul? Uh, Minneapolis. City. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I used to work that in Minneapolis quite a bit and I, I'm sure it's not even open now or operating but uh, all of the country folks I used to, used to go in there and work from time to time oh yeah a lot of great country fans in the Midwest no doubt I'm sure you did some Michigan shows at one time or another too oh I did I've traveled uh, all over Michigan not lately but uh, back, in, back years ago you know uh, Michigan was a good good town for us fantastic well I know that um you're uh, staying busy. You've got some uh, tour dates lined up, and I know you're still out there and performing and and uh, playing music. Are you working on some uh, new recordings at all? 
I have some in mind, uh, nothing I can really talk about, but, uh, yeah, I hope to have out a new record, uh, you know, by the end of the year. And it's so hard to find really great songs. And uh, there's so much uh, mediocre stuff out, you know. You really, It really takes uh, something spectacular, which I don't have, to break through the crust. But uh, we'll, we'll try our best to do something for you, Scott. Well, great. I hope you'll keep me posted, and I'll be more than happy to get them on the air for you. You know that. <laughs> I will. I, I thank you, Will. You're a good friend. Well, I appreciate it, Claude. And uh, I want to thank you again for taking time to be on the show. And I want to thank you uh, for all the great music. And congratulations again on this well-deserved award. And uh, we certainly look forward to hearing more from you. Thank you. Now, we can pick you up on the Internet, right? Absolutely. FishCreekRadio.com. We're on every Monday night, and uh, you can you can hear it on there. And we uh, also, all of our interviews, uh, once they've uh, run on the show, we have a YouTube channel. We ar- archive everything in there. So, yeah, people okay, can so it's FishCreekRadio.com. That's it. Yep, Fish Creek Radio. Well, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be tuning in to you, and I uh, appreciate you so much. Well, likewise. It's been a pleasure talking with you. And uh, we're going to play uh, Who Sent My Ex to Texas and Touch My Heart and then some of your big hits, too. I'll just have a cup of coffee. And if I ever need a lady, my ears should burn. We're just going to play a whole bunch of them here because I really love okay. those songs. <laughs> Bless you, Scott. <laughs> All right. That is... We'll be listening to you. All right, folks, please go to claudegray.weebly.com, and we will put that information on our Facebook page and uh, stay in touch with Claude. And, uh, Claude, it's been a pleasure. Hope to talk to you again soon, my friend. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye-bye, Scott. Yes, that's the nature of a man To let passion have its way Never thinking what you'll pay And it's hard, oh it is hard to understand
I've tried, but I can't seem to shake her memory. Touch my heart, feel the hurt, the pain and misery. And tell me again what love can do for me. If you lived in my world a while, you'd soon forget how to smile. In my world, there's a million ways to cry. If you had my eyes, you could see how someone changed my destiny. I'm a man who can't live and yet can't die. Touch my heart, feel the hurt, it's destroying me. I've tried, but I can't seem to shake her memory. Touch my heart, feel the hurt, the pain and misery. And tell me again what love can do for me. Touch my heart, feel the hurt, it's destroying me. I've tried, but I can't seem to shake her memory. Touch my heart, feel the hurt, the pain and misery. And tell me again what love can do for me. You don't smoke and you don't swear. You wouldn't do wrong on a dare. And a good girl just can't chase away my blues But I'm out fighting loneliness Dating girls I know will kiss But if I ever need a lady, I'll call you You drink Cokes, I drink wine You don't stay out after nine and that's when I'm getting up to lace my shoes So don't cry when you see painted women out with me Cause if I ever need a lady, I'll call you Check inside your sweetheart Look, it's pure where mine is dark And an angel is the one thing I just can't use I need girls of the night All a glow with neon light But if I ever need a lady, I'll call you Drink coats, I drink wine You don't stay out after nine And that's when I'm getting up To lace my shoes So don't cry when you see Painted women out with me Cause if I ever need a lady I'll call you if I ever need a lady, I'll call you. Well, 
Well, she followed me to Utah Drove me up the wall till I had to leave From state to state and town to town Trying to keep from being found But somehow she knew just where I'd be Then I moved to Texas Been here about a year or more Thought I'd finally lost her forever But this morning she was knocking at my door Who sent my ex to Texas How could she know just where I'd be Who sent my ex to Texas Somebody's got it in for me Well, I moved out west to El Paso Trying to keep my profile low Trying to find a place she did not know Albuquerque and Arizona California and Tijuana Then I snuck back across the Rio Grande How I love it here in Texas Well, it's gonna break my heart to leave But the day that she shows up in Texas And Texas ain't big enough for me Who sent my ex to Texas? How could she know just where I'd be? Who sent my ex to Texas? Somebody's got it in for me Who sent my ex to Texas? How could she know just where I'd be? Who sent my ex to Texas? I'd like to kill that SOB. Just have a cup of coffee, then I'll go. Thought that I'd just drop by and let you know that I'm leaving town tomorrow. I'll cause you no sorrow. I'll just have a cup of coffee. Then I'll go I brought the money Like the lawyer Said to do It won't replace All the heartaches I've caused you It won't take The place of loving You I know I'll just have a cup of coffee, then I'll go. Tell the kids I came by a while last night, and I kissed them while they slept so tight. Make my cup of coffee sweet and make it warm Just the way you used to be inside my arms I'll have another half a cup and then I'll stop at truck stops they just naturally think they should cause they figure any place a truck driver eats the foods just got to be good so they go out there amongst all them truck drivers sitting around talking low they're talking about women and stuff like that and how fast them trucks will go
There's the little old place out on 66 where a lot of the drivers stop and get their kicks. Reckless eyeball and his waitress, they got called Flo. There's always a bunch in here hanging out, cutting up and talking about how she wiggles when she walks and stuff like that, and how fast them trucks will go. Watch the wonder feller can sit down and eat his ham and eggs or his bread and meat with a good looking woman like that around him on the go. First thing you know, you get to fidgeting and fussing and a nudging one another instead of discussing how she wiggles when she walks and stuff like that and how fast them trucks will go. She just takes it all in stride And swells all up with her woman pride She's tickled plum pink You come in to see the show She throws a little old extra wiggle In that walk And you just sit there and grin And talk about homemade loving And stuff like that And how fast them trucks will go I can't explain how it makes you feel But you tip her five bucks on a two dollar meal Get yourself together and start heading out kind of slow While you're pushing that diesel on down the line You get to thinking about your woman you left behind How she wiggles when she walks and stuff like that And how fast them trucks are going Should burn when fools are talked about. 